Hey, I'm Karnak, and this is Star Wars Armada Explained. Today we're going to look at the Turbo Laser Upgrade card, Slaved Turrets. Uh, this card, how do you know, equips into the Turbo Laser slot. You look at the bottom left-hand corner of the card, you'll see the Turbo Laser Upgrade icon. This card costs 6 points. It reads, Slave Turrets, Modification. You cannot attack more than once per round. While attacking a ship, Add one red die to your attack pool. This card does have one clarification in the in the in the ship thing here. Let's see, whoop, wrong one. Uh, it reads: If a ship with this card equipped attacks a squadron, it can declare additional squadron attacks during its attack. Uh, there was some initial confusion because it said on the card that you can only attack you know once per round so you know as you know as you normally declare if you're shooting at squadrons you normally declare that you're shooting like for example from your front hole zone and then you would attack each squadron that you're capable of attacking your front hole zone well this card people thought that you can only attack one squadron one squadron period and then that was it so they clarified the card as read no you can attack all the squadrons that are in your front hole arc if you choose to use your one attack for that. Um, otherwise, this card limits you to where you can only essentially just make the one attack, either if it's from ship to ship or it's from ship to squadrons. Uh, when you attack, uh, of course, you know this card, you only gain the benefit of that one red die, only if you're attacking ships, though. It doesn't work for squadrons. So in this case, we'll say that we're using an ISD-2. An ISD-2 typically throws four red die and four blue die from its front hole arc. Uh, in this situation, we're going to say, you know, that's what it's doing. It's shooting at something that's in medium range. Uh, there's no obstruction or anything like that. So you roll your initial attack pool to start with, which again is the four red die and the four blue die. So remember, Slave Turrets does not increase your battery armament. So it's not included in your initial die roll. A lot of people make this mistake. You actually roll your initial attack pool, and then you add one red die afterwards. This is part of the modified die step. And then, oops, and then you would add one red die after that. And that is when the proper timing and steps for this card takes place. And that's pretty much Slave Turrets. There are a couple things, though, I want to make sure I'm touching on. Like, for example, if you have a Star Destroyer ha that has Slave Turrets equipped, and you have the card Gunnery Team equipped, which says that you can you know, attack two targets from the same hole zone, um, the Slave Turrets overrides Gunnery Teams. You can only do one attack, period, even if you have Gunnery Team. Okay, so, I mean, that's it. So that... That knocks that out. Uh, another example is Advanced Gunnery Objective, which allows your ship to be able to, again, attack twice from the same hull zone at you know other targets. Again, Slave Turrets completely negates Advanced Gunnery. If you have a ship equipped with it and you make that the objective ship, again, you can only make one attack period with Slave Turrets. So that you know negates Gunnery Team and it negates the Advanced Gunnery. Uh, what are some other interactions? Let's say that you have a ship that's able to equip a, a turbo laser slot and an ordnance slot, and you have slave turrets equipped, and you have ordnance pods equipped. Uh, which ordnance pods is at the end of your attack step. Uh, you can exhaust this card to choose one of your whole zones to make an anti-squadron attack from that whole zone with an uh, anti-squadron armament of one black die, even if you've already attacked from that whole zone this round. Well, unfortunately, if you have slave turrets and you attacked anything, you cannot use ordnance pods because, again, you can only attack once per round. You would not be able to use ordnance pods. It doesn't. You would not be able to trigger its effect. So there, there's no reason to ever combo those two cards ever. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, and the last thing, and I've gone over this in deep, more like in-depth, super detail, uh, and that's with quad laser turrets, which is the offensive retrofit card, which allows your ship to have counter one when it's being attacked by squadrons. So what is the interaction between slave turrets and this card? Like I said, quad laser turrets goes over this in-depth. I'm going to touch on it again here, um, because again, the initial... 
you know, if you're going from rule as written versus rule as intention, um, rule as written for slave turrets specifically states, you know, you cannot attack more than once per round. Meaning that if you attacked with slave turrets and then a squadron flies up and shoots you and you choose to counter, um, you can't because you've already done, you've already activated, you've already done your one attack, and quad laser turrets is considered making an attack. Um, same deal if your ship hasn't activated, a squadron float flies up, shoots you, you decide to counter it, well now you can't make any future attacks. That's rule as written. But of course if you have any questions about the uh, these cards or you have any um, concerns, maybe I got something wrong, please be sure to point it out, let me know. Uh, but appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you guys later.